Like all the videos on Psych and Catch channel are made possible by fans like you. Totally. Hello, hello everybody. Good morning and welcome back to the live streamed Dragon Quest 7 Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon, and today we made Gabo a warrior. That's right, we made Gabo a warrior. I'm curious... If he got to keep... Doesn't look like he got to keep Inferno. That's a tragedy. I kind of want to change him back. But no, we're, we're going to work on getting our other abilities. I don't think we need Inferno to get by. Um... A hot stone, eh? There had to, there was that one that your uncle had, Saigon, but Pike with a hero reviving stone, it doesn't sound very likely. That's right, we were still trying to figure out that nonsense. I'm curious, let's um let's zoom back to the Shrine of Mysteries and talk to the guy. We know that Pike came into a lot of money recently. Hey, Sebastian, hello and welcome. As a reminder to everybody, please don't offer me any hints or guidance unless I ask for it. Certain special heat-emitting stones somewhere here on the island. It's in town somewhere, apparently. Really? Okay. Interesting. As I recall, we spoke to everybody in Pilchard Bay, so maybe it's in Estard? Could have sworn we talked to everybody in Estard. Interesting. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Why is somebody messaging me? Without fail. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's a funny old world, isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty long in the tooth, but I've never seen in all my life... ...seen the likes of that rich fellow who visited the other day. What's that you say? You want to know where he is now? I'm afraid I can't help you there. Perhaps the fortune teller up at the castle could point you in the right direction. We have a fortune teller in the castle? <laughs> How did I miss that? Uh, Genjin Jump. I'm currently on hiatus with Dragon Quest X. I was just getting burned out on it. Oh. Well, that was lucky. What? No. Kiefer wasn't a jerk. Kiefer was great. He was just, he's a young kid with a lot of responsibility coming his way that he didn't want. He wanted to carve his own path through life. Maribel is a brat due to her upbringing. And doesn't know how to behave in front of the boys that she wants to hang out with. Well then, allow me to compose myself. Ahem. Blurg, wooha, hurg, wee. I saw it, clear as day it was. Wait, there's more. I see a man. He looks wealthy. Yes, very wealthy indeed. He's on a boat, crossing a big lake. But where is this? Wait! Look at the size of that thing. It's a tower, and it's blooming massive. I see a little silhouette of a man at the top, and he's wielding a sword. I think you might be about to meet someone new. Okay, so giant tower. I can think of only one. <clears throat> Yeah, Maribel has a princess conflict, or conflict, complex. Maribel has a princess complex. And Kiefer is trying to not be a prince. Not the Haven. Wetlock. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, well, there's a fragment here, so... There's that. Oh, hello. Come on, Brooke, put your back into it. Pull! I'm trying, Professor Wade. Oh, look, there's the fragment. Now then, what have we here? Yes, it's a fragment of a stone tablet, I believe. It looks very old indeed. But that isn't what we're interested in, Brooke. It's fish we're after. Fish! Try again! I'm trying, Professor Wade. How about this one, Professor Wade? Let me see. Yes, yes, this is it. This genus of fish is usually only found in the coastal waters of this region. Does this mean... It certainly does, my dear Brooke. This is conclusive proof that this region was once entirely covered in seawater. So the legends are true? The Great Flood really did happen? Now, now, young Brooke, we mustn't jump to conclusions. We still can't be certain that was the case. That, that was the case. Nevertheless, this is a significant development. We should now be ready to proceed to the next stage of our research. Okay, Professor Wade. Guys, hey, I need that fragment. I'm rather busy at the moment. You'd like me to give you the stone fragment we found? Very well, but I will have to ask you a little favor in return. Complete the errand to my satisfaction, and I shall gladly hand over the piece of stone on which you appear to be so keen. Come and see me in my house if you'd like to take me up on my little offer. You look like sturdy sorts. I've no doubt you'll be more than capable. Professor Wade, surely you don't mean to ask these strangers to... Ahem! Excellent. If that's all, we'll be seeing you shortly. Okay, well, we know where the fragment is now. I'm gonna go to the tower. Oh, that's right! That's right! We pulled out money to do some more shopping. I believe we got everybody new weapons. But we could definitely buy some new armor. What recording software do I use to record 3DS games? Um, I have a 3DS capture card, which allows me to output my 3DS video to a uh, window on my computer, and then I use OBS to capture that. Pillager's helmet, yes, yes, those are very noticeable upgrades. Grab one for Saigon, grab one for Gabo. Probably pick up the magic skirt from Maribel. We're just short. This is our first significant shopping trip in a while. Alright. Okay, let's head off to the tower. We can worry about the professor later. Now we'll just walk. They have a bridge now. Do 
Oh, there's a fragment on this floor. Oh, hi, turtle. There it is. Okay, let's just go and grab it. Is this game worth it, and do I plan on picking up Dragon Quest VIII? Yes to both. Absolutely yes to both. This game has been such a pleasure to play. And Dragon Quest VIII is, uh... Long time running, my favorite Dragon Quest game, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing it again. Oh, is there another fragment here? Damn. Let's try getting down to the basement. It looked like there was a basement. Mm. Oh, okay. I see how to get over there. Oh, hey, got a diamond. Nice. All right. Whoops! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That must be deafening. So, uh, I accidentally tapped the USB that is going to the capture device. And if I do that sometimes, uh, very rarely, it's. I think it's the first time it's ever been picked up on recording, um, <clears throat> it resets the volume, <laughs> which I have at like 10% and it's still this loud. <clears throat> Did I hear about the official release of DQ11 when the NX launches? Uh, I keep hearing people talking about a official announcement and I haven't actually noticed it myself. Now I haven't gone looking. Uh, but I don't think I've actually seen a full, proper announcement. If you have a good source, go ahead and feel free to link it. Nope, oh, Gabo picked up focus strength. Do I think we'll ever see a U.S. localization for DQ11? I want to say yes, but... Slurp? Are you a boss? Did we stumble into a King Slime boss? Really? Oh, he's got a lot of defense. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What is it? 
Soothing Soul. Gabo, no! It's such an adorable attack. Ooh, you punk! Wait, no. Where is mid heal? It's mid heal Gabo. Maribel. Sap? Again? If this sap doesn't work, I'm just gonna give it up. Give up on trying to cast it. Hey, Kenteoki! Oh, it's still not working. Alright. Oh, God! Kind of hoping there'd be some healing going out that turn. Maribel, no! Damn it! Steals an enclosure plan. Oh, that must be for the, uh... Haven? Or Monster Meadows or something. Hi, guys. Well, that's the end of that, then, I slurpose. Eek! Goomans! You're not slurposed to be here. This is our home. What are you gooing here? What's that? You just wandered in here by mistake? Well, if I were you, I'd get gooing. This place is dangerous. There's a really, really horrible monster up on the top floor, and you'll never survive if you goo anywhere near it. Seriously, you need to get gooing. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, for Pete's sake. Sword Dance has been learned. As I recall, Sword Dance is really, really good. Really? Is that just like a secret entrance or something? Oh my god. Huh. <clears throat> Alright. Everyone. Go back to not using magic. Let's check out Sword Dance. Attacks enemies randomly with successive sword slashes. Probably really good against bosses. Yeah, yeah, four attacks. It's like using Falcon Slash and a Falcon Sword. We stole a, co a copper sword. Great. <laughs> um, I kind of want to change Saigon's class. 
we, we can come back here. If we're doing fights, then we should just be leveling classes, you know? I mean, I'll be losing thin air, I think, but it's all right. We'll still get by. I could be a chimera. <laughs> but I think we're going to roll priest for a bit. Our team has been kind of lacking in heals. good right now. Mirabelle is... still has a bit. Definitely still has a bit. We should rest up while we're here. J. Cruz, I think Sword Dance has been in... JRPGs longer than Pokemon has been around, actually, because I want to say... <sighs> Earliest occurrence I can think of Sword Dance off the top of my head is Final Fantasy V. Which I'm... Oh no, I'm certain. FF5 definitely came out before Pokemon did. That's not what we wanted. It's not what we wanted. And apparently we cannot take the flying carpet over dirt. <laughs> Just grass and water. Supposedly, there's a super tough monster at the top of this tower. We will see how true that is. Door is locked. Maybe we won't see how true that is. Alright, well, there's stairs over just to the northwest of us. We'll hit up those. Oh, we at least get to keep lightning. <coughs> Which is a sailor ability. Gabo, want to finish them off? Thank you. Poof! I'm a cleric. Why the heck did I learn poof? Better than lightning yet? Eh. Gobbo is ranked up. Ha! I should have fought that guy. We need the we need the job experience. on a uh, resume. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's right. Lightning does hit everything. Oh no, we are going this way. Okay. And then around this way. And around this slime and turtle. Wait, I'm supposed to be fighting enemies. Oh, that's not much of a spoiler, J. Cruz. Nothing in here? There's nothing in here. Yeah, no, you're fine, fish food. I don't I don't think that's much of a spoiler. <clears throat> it's just a post-game boss, it has nothing to do with the story, so. J. Cruz has never played a DQ game? You've been subscribed to my channel for how long and you've never played a DQ game? What systems do you have? What systems do you have? Do you know how to run an emulator? Damn it! Okay, we came all this way for no reason. Well, it's fine that you've never had any. I, I can understand that, but uh, I'm I'm a firm believer that everybody. All right, if you have an emulator, play Dragon Quest V on the Super. Hi, sweetie. Hello, my love. Perry's watching the stream. Let's drop down here. You know what I'm betting? I'm betting that professor back in town. Is going to be the one who gives us the key to get to the top of the tower. That's what I am betting. Hang on. Hang on, that's interesting. There, uh, there looked like there was a tower... Like another tower to the north of this tower up in the mountains, and we haven't been over there. So let's get on our flying carpet. What's not on? Can Perry not see the stream? Oh, the audio is not on. Okay. Oh, there is something in there. There's a shrine or something. Oh, there's also something over here. <gasps> Oh, is this it? Is this the mini metal palace? Is this it? It's King Maximo's mansion! <clears throat> Behind real quick. Okay. Hi! Greetings! I, King Maximo, have an undiminishable passion for mini-metals, which are scattered hither and thither without, throughout the world. Some kings wish to maximize the size of their armies or dominions. Me? All I desire are mini-metals. Bring them to me and I shall administer the most magical of gifts. But wait, that maximally magnificent glint, you have some mini-metals with you. I must examine them this instant. Splendid, that's 38 mini-metals you've given me. A miniature miracle. I really had 38? I was going to guess like a good 20 less than that. Once you've brought me a total of 45 mini-metals, I'll reward you with a poison needle. Wow, you don't get anything until 45? This game is harsh.
I'm not a bad slime, really. I'm friends with King Maximo, the monarch of mini metals. Everyone here is. He's the greatest. You should goo and say hello to him since you're here, slurp. There is a fragment here. King Maximus must have one. Maximo. I'm hoping that... Full of books about the goddess and the demon king. Ooh. Well, that's useful. Orogdemir, the demon king. Many, many years ago, Orogdemir, supreme lord of evil, attempted to make the world his own by tearing it into fragments. He would have succeeded, but for the intervention of the Almighty. At the end of an epic battle, both collapsed, drained of power. Good had triumphed over evil, but only just. In his final battle against the Demon King, the Almighty unleashed his power in one unimaginably powerful blast. Although he succeeded in defeating his foe, he paid a heavy price and was himself destroyed. Ever since that day, true believers have searched in vain for a way to revive him. Sir Mervyn had fought bravely alongside the Almighty, but on the eve of their showdown with the Demon King, his master sealed him away inside a precious gem. Why would the Almighty do such a thing? Simple. He had had a premonition that he would not survive the battle and wished to save his faithful servant. O oh, children of generations to come, should you find that gem, climb close to the heavens and hold it aloft. Do so, and our hero shall reawaken. Where might I climb close to the heavens, I hear you ask? Well, west of m of the castle of the great and benevolent king and collector of metals, of course. All right, well, we know where we're going to need to take it. We still need to find that stupid gem, though. Oh, Perry's audio is none. Back to game. Oh, yep, there it is. There is a tower just west of here. And it looks like we can reach it easily enough. Um, I am going to zoom back to Wetlock, I guess, and we'll talk to this uh, professor. I believe Korean support is also off, yes. Where's his house? There's only so many houses that don't have an actual purpose. Oh, I got lucky. Wisdom seed. So many seeds that we haven't used yet. For those of you on YouTube who've been asking, telling me that I need to use my seeds, um, no. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until I know what my final classes are going to look like, and then I will use seeds. But as of right now, with all the constant class changing, it would be just a waste. Uh, to really maximize the benefit of the seeds to my party, I will be waiting. The only other real option, as I see it, is to just dump them all on the hero. Which is what I usually do, but I'm, not, I'm going to try and not do it in this one. So I can look at the bookshelves, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. It takes all sorts. An anthropological survey of the people of our world. Desert dwellers. As their name suggests, these people live in the desert and have developed their own unique culture. Everyone should see the likeness of the great spirit at least once. The roamers, a nomadic tribe who travel the world on a quest to revive the almighty. Music and dance play an essential role in their culture. Doors, non-human people who live below the ground. Very, very occasionally, they intermarry with humans. I haven't met any dwarves. The Cirrus, a fabled people believed to have wings and to be able to ride the wind. Very little is known about them. I haven't met any of them either. <clears throat> also, I'm pretty sure when the US version of this game comes out, they'll take everything about religion out. J. Cruz, this is the English version of the game. It's out. 
And religion plays a very, very important role in the story of this game. It's not something that they'll just take out. Also, this isn't the Nintendo of the late 80s and early 90s. People are less, uh... I don't know, I think they're less scared of it now. There's a book entitled Confessions of a Metal Detector. I've been on the road for half a year now, searching for this metal collecting king. I was exploring this one place when I realized I'd already been down the passage I was in. I got a bit frustrated and decided to head off in a completely different direction. Lo and behold, what did I find lying on the ground on my new path but another one of my beloved miniature medals? What luck. Sensitive. Yeah, they're not as sensitive as they used to be about it. And you can't really take the religious parts of DQ7 out or you're missing like three quarters of the story. Professor Wade has an important favor to ask you. Would you mind hearing him out? It's for the sake of our research, you see. We'd be really grateful if you would agree to help. You came. Jolly good. I had a feeling I could rely on you, and it looks as though I've been proven right. Goodness, do you know? I don't believe I've actually introduced myself yet. The name is Wade. I'm a researcher and academic. That young chap over there is Brooke. He's my assistant. Nice to meet you. And how about yourself? Saigon, eh? A very fine name indeed. Now that the pleasantry is out of the way, we should move on to the matter at hand, shall we? I've been doing some research into the legend of the Great Flood and Old Man Riffer. Most people are sure the whole thing is entirely fabricated, but I have no reason to believe that this may not be the case. You know what? I'm thinking that the fortune teller back in Esther was just telling us how the quest is going to end instead of telling us where Golgio went. I, I'm assuming that this current tower here in Wetlock is not the one that I'm supposed to be at. I just put that together. I just thought of that. Most people are sure the whole thing is entirely fabricated, but I have reason to believe that this may not be the case. Indeed, the main purpose of my current research is to attempt to prove this hypothesis. As yet, however, I do not have... <sighs> ...sufficient materials. Which is where you come in, Saigon. The thing is, you see, I'm rather convinced that the tower to the north of town has an important connection to the legend. Unfortunately, the place is chock full of the most horrible monsters, so going there myself is out of the question. As I mentioned before, you and your friends seem like battle-hardened young souls, so I was wondering if you might be so good as to use your talents to drive the monster infestation out of the tower for good. Help me out, and I'll gladly reward you with that stone fragment you were so interested in. What do you say? Will you rid high and, high and dry tower of its monster infestation for me? Yes, but I need a key. Give me a key. This is good news, isn't it, Professor Wade? Oh yes, excellent news. Most excellent indeed. Well, Saigon, we'll be waiting here for your triumphant return. Key. Key. Did I miss something? Were there switches that I missed? Yeah, yeah, about a month. That sounds right. That's not gonna work. Um, golly, is this the point in the game where it just starts opening up and I get horribly horribly lost because it feels like that is what that is what is happening okay we're gonna flying carpet back over there Right into the stone golem. I have some lemonade. I've got lemonade sitting in the fridge for like a week now, and I've completely forgotten about it.
loving that fire claw in this game. I'd say DQ7 has the uh, strongest versions of a lot of the items from the series. Fireclaw has been absolutely fantastic. All right, so we couldn't. All right, that's open now, which is good. The slimes are at least grouped up pretty, pretty nice. Oh, I could have used stone throw. No! Don't call for help. Okay. Good, good. good. Or Gobbo can kill them. I want to say Stone's Throw was better against groups. Do we not have anybody who could fit through that hole? Like, I don't know how we're going to do this part without... J. Cruz, I mean, that's that's discussion of a real-world religion that people actually follow. Uh, Dragon Quest religions are, you know, Dragon Quest religions. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. They want me to go to the top of the tower. Any way of doing it because I can't get in there because I don't have wait what if I go back in time and open up the door would that work Or no, the door's already open back in time. Why is it not open now? Who closed it? Maribel picked up Hustle Dance! Get hype! Is there anything in here that's helpful? Anything at all? Nothing. There's nothing helpful in here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do at this point. We need a key. Ah, Has DQ ever done whole, the whole clear out all the monsters in the room? No, J. Cruz. In fact, monsters being shown on the map is a relatively new thing. They experimented with it in 8 with recruitable monsters, then they did it full on in 9, and then in the remake of 7. I need... It feels like we're still being directed to go deal with Pike. Oh, dude, Munchie would be amazing right now. Also, what's up? Welcome to the stream, Zeta Zardin. Let's go talk to, um... You know who we haven't talked to is the woodcutter. We haven't gone to see him yet. The hot stone is somewhere on this island, apparently. You know, I was curious if I'd missed anything over here. <laughs> Turns out I have. Look who's come to visit. It seems my furry forest pals have taken quite a shine to you. Remember, you're welcome back here anytime you like. We'll be waiting for you. Damn it. 
I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but I really do enjoy this part of DQ games. I honestly enjoy getting a little bit stuck from time to time. Because that's the part of the game where you really start to explore and find things that you wouldn't. Even if it takes you a little while to get back on track, it's nice to, uh... Feel out the game world. See how things are... different. I want to say that that's the damn stone, but I don't know... I don't think my key will let me in there yet. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's go talk to the wise guy. Oh, you got stuck here too, Sadie. It seems that this is the place where people are getting stuck. What? No, fish food? How? He's just friends with animals. No, Kaniki, all of the hints have kind of directed me over here. There is the uh, the fortune teller in the castle said that he saw me with the stone and a hero on top of a tower. What I'm thinking happened is Pike is either, like, somewhere around and we have to find him, or he left with Golgio. I don't know why he would. I, I thought that he sold the stone, or at least sold us a, a fake stone. Did you hear about that filthy rich chap? Apparently he owns houses all over the world. He said he's going back to his main home after this trip, but who knows where that is. Is it the place with the world tree? Maybe? Yeah, Kaniki, there's a couple of places. He had one place in Grondel. I know there's a place in Grondel. Arco where I picked up Gabo. Yes, this is where I picked up Gabo. And there's the mansion. Okay, this this might be the place. Fine. I will use my flying carpet. I don't need no boat.
any treasure around here? Come on! <laughs> really? Really? We really have to do this? Yeah, fish food. This this game is the most mimic-heavy DQ I've ever seen. Alora, I have no lazing around down here. It is my job to collect moss from the well. Hmm, you wish to know why? Scusa. But I do not know. <laughs> Guess that's fair. Nobody has to tell you why they want you to collect moss. I don't understand why Signor Bulgio would... Bulgio? Bulgio? I don't know. Bulgio? Build a house so far away from everything. He must be a little eccentrico. See? See. When Signor Bulgio returns home, I will ask if I can take a holiday. The question is where to go? To El Ciclo? Or maybe to Grundle? Is he not here? It is my job to make sure the ship of Signor Bulgio. She is ready for sailing whenever he needs her. Oh, he must be! His ship is here. Senor Bulgio, he is gone on a long trip at the moment. Ahime, we have so little work to do. You don't know where he's gone? But his boat is here. How is he going around on a trip without his boat? An opulent mansion is all very well, but I prefer something more tasteful myself. This house, it is the premier Palazzo di Bulgio, the greatest of the many homes of Signor Bulgio, the richest man in this whole entire world. But apparently he's not here. Dear Ascent, I worry about Signor Bulgio. He has sent no messages since he left on his trip. He said he was going to visit his other palazzi to try and find more of the rare objects. But still I worry, never before has he been away for so long. Okay, he might be in Grundle then. He's a very fussy eater, and Mamma Mia, he has the fiery temper. Sometimes, if he no like a dish, he turned the whole table upside down. Alright, alright, starting to get an idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh! And tortoise shell armor. Yeah, we'll we'll go to Grundle after we're done looting this guy's house. Who for a rich guy, you'd think we'd have found more money. <clears throat> I guess he's good about banking it. Better than I am. Hi! He will not return for a little while. He says he's looking for something that can become his family heirloom. He is very serious about it, I think. Many metal. Freaking finally, man! Oh my god! Alright, magic key has been obtained. Have we found any doors that actually need this, though? Because I just keep finding the iron bar doors. Top hat. 
Nothing special. Well, that's where that's where the magic key is, so this trip was definitely worth it. Surprised it's just like here in a treasure chest somewhere instead of given to you as part of the story or something. And then again, I guess the thief's key you actually had to buy back in Pilgrim's Perdition. BQ7, not friendly with the keys. Alright. Let's go to Grondel. As a gardener right here at the palazzo. I never met the owner of the place, though. That is being kind of weird when you think about it. Really? Is he not here? Where's his other house? God! He's not here. He is not here. <sighs> Where is... In El Ciclo? Did he have one in El Ciclo? We'll try El Ciclo next. Right now, though, I'm gonna save and take a short break, because it is that time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, I will be continuing this stream for several hours today uh, until I need to go pick up the kid. So I think we have three more hours of streaming, actually. Oh, wait. Wait. Ugh, that's... that's scary. I could have... I could have quit and not saved my game. Alright, I'm trying to leapfrog my saves since apparently there's been a couple of reports of some game-breaking bugs. So, I'm leapfrogging just in case I run into them. <clears throat> it's just been a few reports that have been seen. It doesn't seem like it's common at all. But still kind of worry I'm worrisome to hear about. Alright. Yes, okay, Twitch, I'll be right back. I'm taking a short break. Those on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please hit like and subscribe. Maybe check out my other Dragon Quest video series. Um, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.